Hello folks, my name is Ed. This is a complete PlayStation 1 setup guide on the Steam Deck. The performance of PlayStation 1 emulation on the Steam Deck is very impressive. Most of games can be played at 60 FPS with 3 times native resolution, and this is definitely enjoyable. From now on, we can take our favorite classic PlayStation 1 games on the go with Steam Deck. This video is very comprehensive and it covers everything you need to enjoy PlayStation 1 games on the Steam Deck. So I have made it into several chapters as shown on the screen. You can skip to any sections quickly as you need. Without further delay, let's get into the tutorial. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover PlayStation 1 emulator installation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emule Deck official website. I have the Emule Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emule Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emule Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emule Deck installer from the desktop. Click continue on this pop up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more option to set up the Emule Deck. Then click continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with Emule Decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by Emu Deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the PlayStation 1 emulator, which is called Dark Station. Also, I would like to point out that if you already have emulators installed on your Steam Deck, you should disable those emulators on this page. Otherwise, this installation will overwrite your existing emulators. You can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. Then click Continue. On this page, make sure you turn off the emulators that you have already installed on your Steam Deck. If you forgot doing this, the Emu Deck will overwrite your existing emulate settings. So please keep this in mind. I will only leave the Dark Station emulator on. Then we can click on Continue and move to the next page. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. Then just click Next. This is the new page that Emu Deck just added. And I think this is really helpful. This page will basically tell us what will be installed and what will be configured on our Steam Deck by this installation. So please make sure you check everything here before you click on the finish button. It is very critical to check here to make sure any of your existing emulators are excluded under the first two columns. If you forget to exclude them, this installation will overwrite your existing emulator setting and configurations. After you make sure everything is correct on this page, then just click the finish button to process the installation. The Emu Deck now start processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything is done, we can click exit. Now we have complete the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original Emu Deck installer is now changed to Emu Deck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the Emu Deck installation. Okay, let's set up the BIOS file first. I have my BIOS and game ROMs are all stored on this external hard drive. So I will quickly plug this in and copy the BIOS files into the Steam Deck. By the way, you don't have to do the same way. You can download the BIOS files off the Steam Deck. Always remember, Steam Deck is a PC. Now I will navigate to the external hard drive on the Steam Deck. So here are my BIOS and game ROMs folder. If I go into the BIOS folder, I have three BIOS files here. Make sure all BIOS files should have lowercase letters. SCPH5500 is for US game. SCHP5501 is for Europe game. 
SCHP5502 is for Japan game. Sorry folks, I'm not able to provide links to the BIOS file due to the copyright issue. But just use Google, you should get them very easily. Now I will just copy those three BIOS files into my Steam Deck's emulation BIOS folder on the SD card. If your Emu Deck is installed on internal storage, please copy them into the internal storage emulation BIOS folder. This is very important, so please make sure the BIOS files are copied into the correct folder. Now we can close this window. Next, we can open the Emu Deck, then click Tools and Stuff. Next, click BIOS Check. We should see PlayStation 1 BIOS detected. This means you have successfully set up the BIOS file for PlayStation 1 emulator. Before we get started, I would like to show the game file formats that are supported by PS1 emulator DarkStation. If your game file format is not on this list, then you have to convert them into one of those formats before you actually can use them. Now let's back to the Steam Deck. Again, I have my PlayStation ROMs are all stored on this external hard drive. So I will copy the game ROMs into the Steam Deck. You don't have to do exact same way. You can just direct download games from your Steam Deck and just make sure move them into the correct folder. So here is my ROM folder on the external hard drive. If I go inside this folder, we can see I have six games here. Now I will open my Steam Deck's SD card in a new window tab first. Then go to Emulation, ROMs. We need to look for PSX folder. Then open the PSX folder. This is the location where all the game ROMs need to be copied. Then I will go back to the Game ROM tab and start copying the game ROM into the Steam Deck's SD card. The first game, Crash Bandicoot, is a bin format. Most of the time, the bin format games usually come with a queue extension file. This queue extension file is not necessary to play the game, but if we want to compress the queue and bin format into CHD format, then the queue file will be required in this case. Then I will copy Mega Man times 4 This is a PBP format ROM. We can just simply copy this into the ROM folder. Next, I will copy Taken 3. This is an ECM format ROM. So just copy it into the ROM folder on your Steam Deck. All we need to do is copy the supported games into the ROM folder on your Steam Deck. Next, I will show how to convert the Qiu format into CHD format by Emu Deck. The CHD format will take less space. Just remember you need to have the bin extension file in order to convert Q to CHD format. Let's open up Emu Deck. Click Tools and Stuff, then click Emu Deck Compressor. Next, click Run the Compression tool. So make sure you have backups for your ROM. Click OK, let's start. Then pick the PSX folder and click OK to process. This will take about 2-3 to three minutes. After it's done, if we go back to the ROM folder, the Q and the bin file are now converted to a single CHD file. If you have ISO format PlayStation 1 ROMs, the Emu Deck Compressor 2 can convert ISO format into CHD as well. Once we have all game ROMs ready, now we need to add the games into Steam OS gaming mode from Emu Deck. Now let's open the Emu Deck, then click Tools and Stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. Click Yes for this pop-up window. First, disable parsers. Otherwise, Emu Deck will scan all the game ROMs. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. I will only enable PlayStation 1 DarkStation emulator here. Then we need to click Save button on the bottom left corner. Next, click Preview button from the top left corner. Then click Generate App List from the bottom of the screen. All three PlayStation games we copied now show up here. Next, click Save Apps to the Steam button. This will add all game titles into the Steam Gaming Mode. Then we can just close Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck Gaming Mode. 
After we get back to the gaming mode, just press the Steam button. Then go to the library, we will see all the PlayStation games we added show up under the No Steam game. We can now play all the games from here directly. That's pretty much all for how to add single disc games. In this part, I will show how to set up multiple discs with Q and Bing format games. First, I will copy some multiple disc games from my external hard drive into the Steam Deck Emulation ROM folder. I have this Final Fantasy IX here, which has 4 discs. Because this is a CUE format game, so it will have 4 Bing files too, so a total of 8 files here. I will copy all 8 files into my Steam Deck's SD card. Once all the files are copied over, I can unplug the external hard drive. Then I will plug in my mouse. I highly recommend to use a mouse and keyboard to process the following step. First, we need to create a new text file and name it same as the game name. Then make sure change the file extension to m3u. All letters are in lowercase. Click OK to create this file. Now we can open the m3u file. Then go back to the ROM folder and copy the CUE file name, include the file extension. Then back to the m3u file and paste the game name and file extension into first line. And keep paste 3 times until you have 4 lines, which represent 4 discs. Make sure there is no space in front of each line. After you have all 4 lines ready, then start with second line and modify the disc number for each line. So eventually, if you have 4 discs, then you should have 4 lines and each line indicate 1 disc. Make sure click save, then we can close this file. Next thing we need to do is to move the Q and the Bing files into another folder, which is not inside of the PSU folder, otherwise the email deck will detect multiple files. So I will go back to the ROMs folder and create a new folder called PSX Multidisc. Then I will move all the Q and Bing files from PSX folder into the PSX Multidisc folder. If you have other multiple disc games, you can move all the Q and Bing files into this folder. Only leave the M3U file inside the PSX folder. Once you have all the files are moved into the PSX multi-disc folder, then we need to copy the folder directory from the top address bar. Then go to PSX folder and open up the M3U file. Then paste the address in front of each line. Then save the m3u file and close it. At this point, this m3u file is now ready to use. The email deck will treat the m3u file as a game file. It will automatically pick the next disk when it reaches the point. That's how to create m3u files for multiple disk games with Q at bin format. But if you have CHD format games, or you would like to convert Q and Bing format into CHD to save some space on your SD card. 
In this section, first I will show how to convert Q and Bin into CHD format. Then I will use CHD format ROMs to create M3U file. First, I will copy the Metal Gear Solid Q and Bin ROM from my external hard drive into Steam Deck. Make sure the game ROMs are copied into the PSX folder. Then I will use Emule Deck to convert Q and Bing files into CHD format. I have already showed the detailed step in Chapter 3 for converting Q and Bing into CHD, so I will not go step by step here again. Of course, if your game ROM is already in CHD format, then you can skip this converting process. Once the process is done, now we have two CHD files under the PSX folder. Next, I will create the M3U file. This step is exactly same as in Q and Bing file section. So I am not going to explain step by step again. If you are lost here, please go to the first section of this chapter to watch the detailed explanation. Please make sure modify the disk number to match with the actual disk number you have. And there is no space at the beginning of each line. Now I have two M3U files. The Final Fantasy is created from Q and Bin ROMs. The Metal Gear Solid is created from CHD ROMs. Next, all we need to do is to use Emule Deck and add those two games into Steam OS gaming mode. I will not explain step by step again here, since this has already been covered in Chapter 2. Now we can just launch the games from Steam OS gaming mode. I will start up the Final Fantasy first. Yes, this game works perfectly. Then I will test Metal Gear Solid. As you can see, both games are working very well on the deck. From now on, we don't have to swipe disk manually. 
Once the game reached to the point, it will automatically pick the next disk. This is all for how to set up multiple disks. Now let's set up the controller. We need to start up a PlayStation game first, then press the Steam button. Next, select controller settings. Under the current layout, we need to pick Emil Deck Dark Station Tablet and press button A to select. Then remember to press cross button to apply this change. Now the controller setup is done. If we touch the left trackpad, it will activate the quick menu. For the hotkeys, I made this picture that demonstrated all the hotkeys with PlayStation Emulator. I think this is pretty easy to understand, but if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also, if what I just shared with you is helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.